Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. It's time I wanted to revisit the Springfield Armory XDS 9mm Mod 2 OSP. This was released in 2020. The Mod 2 has a different grip. It has two magazines, a 9-round and a 7-round mag. This is the 9-round mag. A 3.3-inch barrel OSP optical sight pistol. And here we have a new optic from Burris called the Fast Fire C. I'm going to talk about that. This is a pretty cool handgun. It was very well known back in the single stack days. Seven round single stack. And people loved it. Then they came out with the Mod 2 OSP model. And I, I certainly appreciated the option of a red dot. Non-OSP model, you're looking at about 440 MSRP. So it's priced well. Springfield also sells it with a uh, CTS 1500 made by Crimson Trace for a little bit more in the mid 500s. I don't necessarily care for that optic, so I decided to go with this Burris. It is a beautiful red dot. It has a bit of a heavier trigger pull looking at right around six and a half pounds with a reset right there. Why do some of the smaller handguns have a heavier trigger pull? I think it's a built-in safety for pocket carry. And I know a lot of people pocket carry. I hear that all the time from you guys. They pocket carry. And that is why. Now, it does have the grip safety. Some people have their thoughts about that, I don't see what the big deal is. It does force a high grip on the pistol and that's what you want, along with an ambidextrous magazine release. Sight hole indicator on top, serrated black rear sight, pinned in front dot, nine and seven round mags for a very fair price. Was this eaten up by the Hell Hellcat line? Yes, it was. This had high notoriety at the time. Now you never even hear about it, but you do hear about the Hellcats. Everything from the Hellcat to the Hellcat OSP to the RDP, Rapid Defense Pistol, to the Hellcat Pro, now the Hellcat Threaded. You don't even hear about the XDS line anymore. Do you remember when the XDS came out in 45? How, how the internet just blew up over that. Uh, subcompact, 45 was huge, but this is the 9 millimeter. It was just as big on its release. Now you don't hear from it. I needed to revisit it. A lot of single stack fans still out there. Not bad recoil management from this. It, it has a nice recoil spring in there that keeps it fairly low for a subcompact handgun. But I want to take a minute and discuss the optic I have on here. I switched out the Crimson Trace CTS 1500 for the Burris Fast Fire C. It is a composite polymer housing with a glass lens. It has this intensity setting here, it will go into auto bright or you can manually adjust the intensity with that button right there and that button also allows it to shut off. It has a bottom loading battery compartment, 2032 battery. It Burris says 2500 hours of battery life with the dot always on, but if you're not using it, just shut it off. It also has the ability to witness the iron sights through the glass. The, the bottom of the optic isn't so high that it prevents that. Nice clear dot. I think I mentioned 6 MOA dot. It has an RMS footprint, which is, on this case, a direct mount. Makes it nice and easy and a huge upgrade to the XDS Mod 2. I had to get the XDS back out to revisit it. it. It got eaten up by the Hellcat, 
but it's still a relevant pistol and there are many single stack 9mm fans out there and the optic was an upgrade this is a Burris Fast Fire C being released right now nice optic nice clear glass fairly easy adjustments along with the sight in and the intensity and had to get out to the range to check it out if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe